the video thumbnail, or the video animated preview. This is your video's first impression. When someone opens up your video email or they open up the LinkedIn message or Facebook message where you added a video to it, this is your video's first impression. It helps people decide whether or not they want to click to play the video. Is this personal? Is this relevant? Is this interesting? Am I curious? These thoughts and feelings that provoke someone to take the next step and go ahead and play the video. Now, anytime you record or upload a video into your BombBomb account, including with the iPhone app, we automatically give you an animated preview for that video. We take the first three seconds, loop them, put the play duration over top, and that automatically happens for you every time. But in some cases, when you want an even higher level of control. You can do a lot of interesting things in three seconds, but it does sometimes require a little bit of choreography, right? So, you know, you hold this up, you refer to it, you set it down, and then you continue with your message. And we can do that in an animated way. But if you want a higher level of control, you can snap a thumbnail image with BombBomb, again, including in the iPhone app. So let's take a look at that. So here we are on my iPhone, and I'm going to open the BombBomb mobile app. And as you can see, it opens on the video recorder by default every time. You can, uh, down on the bottom there, go into tracking. You can go into your video library, select a video, and send it somewhere or copy and paste it anywhere that you want on your phone through the keyboard that we have here in the mobile app. But what we're going to do here is go ahead and record a short video. So I'm going to hit the record button, counts me down. And then I can just start talking and I can share an interesting piece of information or I can answer someone's question or I can wish them a congratulations on a job promotion, wish them a happy birthday, whatever. There are countless ways to use videos to be more personal and more human with your customers, with your employees, and with all kinds of people in your personal and professional networks. So then I'm going to hit stop. It processes the video, saves it to your video library, and now you can see that there's an animated preview. But in this case, let's say I want to have a whiteboard that says iPhone thumbnail as my thumbnail image, not this animated preview. It's a little bit more difficult to do that when you're holding up your mobile phone. So I'm going to tap the animated preview. And you can see it shows that I can edit the thumbnail. So I'll click Edit Thumbnail. Here we are, I'll hold up the whiteboard, I'll look in the lens. So I take photo, I click done, I click back, and there you can see the animated preview has been replaced with this iPhone thumbnail, thumbnail. Pro tip here, always name your videos. and spell check them. This allows you to do a better job of knowing who's watching which videos. If it's a one-to-one -one video, include the person's name. That will help you find more value in all the video tracking that we provide you. So here it is. It's in my library. I could text it. I could email it. I could share it to social. I could email it in a custom email design from BombBomb. But my primary goal here was to take you exactly this far. Again, that animated preview is the default, and it's a huge value for you. BombBomb generates that for you automatically. But you might find that in some cases, you want a higher level of control, or you may find it easier to execute what you want your video's first impression to be by snapping that static thumbnail image. Of course, you can do that in the Android app. You can do it in the iPhone app. You can do it in any BombBomb recording environment. But do know that those mobile apps come with your free trial or come with any of your subscriptions in BombBomb. So anywhere that you are, you can communicate more clearly, connect with people more effectively, and increase conversion by getting face-to-face -face using a simple personal video. Hope that was helpful. Take care.